Hi everyone, here's some lovely glitter, isn't it pretty? Now, we know there are ways that we can stop our glitter from sinking. I think we're probably all familiar with Daniel Cooper's Elmer's glue trick. And we're all probably familiar with letting your resin thicken up a bit first or various ways that you can put your resin in, let it cure and then put the glitter on the back, that sort of thing. Wouldn't it be handy though if there was a range of glitters that didn't sink in the first place? Look what we got here. Right, these are from Into Resin. I've tipped all the little pots upside down so you can see what the colours are. That's the set that they sent me. Thank you very much Into Resin. So this is going to be a really quick video because all I'm going to do is chuck some of these into a mould of some sort. I'll decide which in a minute and chuck some resin in and we'll, we'll see if they actually do float. Simple as that. So I'll be back shortly with a mould and some resin. So the resin I'm using is a fairly standard viscosity, I suppose you'd call it. It's a medium viscosity. It's one of the resins that takes kind of overnight to cure. It's that sort of thing. It is the Apex High Gloss. It's a one-to-one. -one. So desperately easy to use, really reliable. Um, I think it's meant to take 16, 18 hours, something like that to fully cure. But actually, you know what? I very often find I can demold it a lot sooner, especially if it's warm in here. Now, the reason I'm using this one is I think uh, if we use a high viscosity one, something like the One Coat, now you use that for shallow pores, it doesn't so much matter much if you're, oh, there go the police, what's happening? So it won't matter so much if you're, let's try that again shall we? Yeah, so the reason I'm not using the high viscosity one um, is that, first of all, this is a deepish mould. It's one of the Into Resins mould, and it'll be a surprise what it is when it comes out. I'm not going to tell you. Uh, so, you know, the, the high viscosity one, the one Apex One Coat, this would be too deep for. But also, I don't think you'd be too surprised if glitter floated in a high viscosity one. Now, I'm not going to use a deep cast either which is a very low viscosity, it's very, very runny. Because one, I don't think this is deep enough to need it. Apex one coat will go up to this sort of depth anyway. Um, that's how deep it is. And two, uh, I don't really want to wait three days for it to cure. And three, I think anything will sink in that because it's so very watery. So I think what I wanted to test this with for you was a fairly chunky mould that you can see whether it's sunk or not. And also uh, the sort of regular medium viscosity medium cure time type of resin that probably most of us use as our everyday resin so i thought this would be the best test for it i have also asked into resin and i said what about the deep cast resins um and they said let me just do a little bit of bubble popping here and they said um yeah probably will sink a bit in those because with the best will in the world they are so runny that pretty much everything's going to sink Oh, right, okay, we're going with our regular everyday type of resin. And I have stirred a little bit too quickly as usual, so there is a bit of uh, <laughs> a few little bubbles in there. Now, what colour shall we do our whale? Look at all these gorgeous colours. Now, I'm going to want a glitter that we can see whether it's sunk or not. <laughs> so let's go with this lovely purpley colour because I think we should be able to see with that. Now, as you can see, this is a brand new pot. I haven't got in here yet with this one. I have opened one of the others and had a look, but I haven't done a lot with it yet. So, you know, I'm testing these for real. This is the first time I have used them that you are seeing. And I'm gonna put a reasonable amount in so that we can see whether it sinks or not. Now, it's quite holographic. See that gold sparkle in it? Ooh, gosh, that's pretty. And I'm gonna put a little bit more actually. Um, you probably don't need much. It strikes me that this stuff, it's very fine and it goes quite a long way. You get a good sized pot though. That's quite a decent sized little pot look. Put the lid on carefully. But I did want to put quite a bit in so that we can see what it's doing. Well, I can see already it's wanting to sit on the surface so that's a good sign for the sinking capability. Right, it's starting to go down now. It's a very, very fine glitter. Isn't that pretty? Let's make sure it's well stirred in. I'll just grab one of my wipes to clean my stick off. 
But yeah, I can already see that doesn't seem to be showing any any sign of wanting to sink. Interesting. Okay, wipe my stick off. Now, wipe up this sparkly mess I've made. Let that debubble a little bit. It degasses really fast, this resin does. Let's give it a little help on its way. I tend to do this while it's in the pot if I'm going to get heat on it. We'll run it through and resin is airless, of course. But to be honest, it degasses so well that I'm not too bothered anyway. Now this mould has got a little bit that disappears down the back here. I'm still not telling you what it is. And it's got, because it's got a lip all the way around here, I am going to have to be careful to make sure that I don't end up with a mould full of bubbles. So let's get some into that little hole in the bottom first. And hold it upright. I'm just letting the... It helps that I know what shape that is. <laughs> you don't, you don't. Yeah. Start guessing, everyone. Right, now. I'm just squishing that thoroughly to make sure we've got as many as we can. If there's any bubbles trapped in there, I'll be very surprised now. So, what we're going to do now is very slowly fill it up. I hope I've got enough resin mixed up here. You can always mix a bit more, of course. Oh, it looks like it's a pretty good guess. I'm close. Now, before we fill it right up, I'm going to do some squishing. And as you can see, I've already spilt a bit. But what I'm doing is I'm trying to make sure we've got resin right up under these lips, around the edges here. So we get a bit of squishing, a bit of doing this. I'm just going to add a little bit more resin to my mix. to make sure we have definitely got enough to go right up to the brim. I'm going to put a tiny bit more glitter in this. There's still some in here because I didn't completely empty the pot, but let's just have a tiny bit more. There we are. Just to make sure it's all throughout the little critter. There you go. There's another clue. It is a critter. It is a harrimal of some sort. Love this colour. So it does tint the resin slightly as well because of the strength of the colour of the glitter itself. They're pretty. This is it's like a it's almost like a candy colours, I suppose you'd call them. I don't know if they'll expand the expand the range further in time. I'm not sure. I hope so, because they look absolutely beautiful, don't they? There we are. Now that does look as if it's... I can't see any bubbles trapped, I don't think. What's that? Is that one there? Might be. I'm just going to go around with my little stirry stick. There isn't white. This stick is clean, by the way. What you can see, that white bit on the end is actually um, a bit of cured polyurethane <laughs> resin for that from something I was doing earlier. Right, so hopefully, hopefully I've got any potential for trapped bubbles out of there. So let's push this little bit of overspill back in. Because I've made a bit of a mess there, haven't I? Oh. And there we are, we'll leave it at that. I've got a little tiny bit left in my pot, so I will chuck that into a different mould somewhere. What have we got? Oh, I know. Yeah, yeah. Let's chuck some into this beautiful... Um, crystal flower mold everybody's gone crazy for these anybody who orders one of these by the way these have gone viral these crystal flower molds and as they are handmade as is this one um i know into resin are struggling to keep up with the orders at the moment um everybody's just gone completely crazy for them of which i fully understand um in fact i've i've uh, just ordered another two so i can make a load of them because i've got a project in mind and i want to be able to make the uh, pieces quicker so do bear with them it might take them a couple of weeks or more to actually st to get this shipped to you but like anything handmade it's worth waiting for we're crafters we know this don't we so i'll have a little bit of a clean up and we'll be back for the demold of the mystery creature and uh and this little fella see you later Hello everyone, let's do mould. First, this one shouldn't have been too much of a challenge because there wasn't far, too far for it to sink, was there? 
Oh, that's added a nice new dimension to the sparkly crystal mould, doesn't it? Love this mould. <laughs> right, the mystery mould. Let's hope I got all the bubbles out and let's hope the glitter didn't sink. Here he comes, here he comes, here he comes. <laughs> it's a whale. And look, the glitter hasn't even slightly sunk. Yeah, it hasn't collected in the top, which is where glitter normally would, or in the top of his tail. I did manage to get the bubbles out. Uh -huh. That's the one place they could easily get trapped with this shape mould. No problem. Actually, big thumbs up for the mould as well. <laughs> but there we are, everyone. The answer to does non-sinking glitter sink? Is No, it doesn't sink. They're quite right. It is not sinking glitter. Okay, now you know what this mould is. <laughs> Both these moulds, I'll put the link for them in the video description below. They're from Into Resin, as is the glitter. So if you fancy treating yourself to the glitter or to the moulds, then by all means do use my discount code. It'll get you a whole 20% off. That is a lot. That's a big discount. Do bear in mind, though, that if you order the handmade versions of these moulds, particularly this one, this one's gone rather viral, but these are handmade. And you and I know how long handmade takes to make. And if you have a big rush on orders, it can take a little while, but quality of this kind is worth waiting for so be patient be patient please you know what it's like but yeah i know they've got the sets of glitters in stock apparently it's a bestseller at the moment so there you go knock yourselves out this is not a false claim it really doesn't sink so if you found this little video useful then please do give me a thumbs up and you know where the subscribe button is too all down below subscribing is of course free thanks for watching everyone and i'll look forward to seeing you for the next video and on that topic please do let me know is there any particular new materials that or gadgets or anything out there that you're thinking i wonder if that's as good as it says it is i wonder if that actually works then just let me know and if I can get hold of the stuff, I will test it out for you. No problem. Take care, everyone. See you soon.